What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and uh, and welcome back to your daily Solana updates, at least for the last couple of days, because um, I've been covering Solana quite a bit. And uh, and in this video, I, I kind of wanted to do a special update uh, uh, talking about uh, what, what's happening with Solana and the reason <clears throat> behind a move like this. After we were this bullish, we, we had all that bullish fundamental news with, with Google and Meta and then we dropped down significantly. So most of you know why it's happening. Um, but still, I wanted to talk about that because so, so some of you probably don't, and uh, and and we have to talk about that to actually talk about whether we can actually recover uh, with Solana. Can we recover back to thirty dollars? Can we recover back to twenty six dollars even? So that's what I wanted to talk about. Now, first of all, the fundamentals in in the entire market are are bad as well. All right, so that's not helping Solana, but it all has to do with the same thing. Um, the market is, pretty, is stabilizing a little bit, Solana is not. So what is the main reason behind that? Well, it's that, uh, well, obviously the entire market crash was caused between the, uh, or because of the whole feud between Binance and FTX. But what happened essentially is that FTX couldn't keep up. Uh, the FTT token was dropping, which was, which was very bad for um, Alameda Research, All right, That's a sister company of FTX. And who is one of the biggest investors in Solana? It's Alameda Research. They hold a lot of Solana. So when there was a liquidity problem at FTX, Alameda Research needed to buy up that FTT and needed to provide liquidity for that. Uh, liquidity for that. And so what they did do, they, they sold their own token holdings, presumably. Um, and and there's just a lot of fear in the market. And Solana is one of those uh, is one of those holdings. So that's why we're dropping this much. Um, and because of fear, I mean, because it's, uh, I mean, all of the all of the Alameda research tokens are dropping. I mean, for example, Optos, uh, I, th I think all of the APT tokens are still uh, uh, are still locked up, and still it's dropping down a lot. Not as much as Solana, but still a lot, and because it's also a, a big token that Alameda Research invested in. Now it does seem like the market is stabilizing. Solana is not. Um, so can we expect some stabilization? I do think so. Um, right now we're at this major support level between, well, yeah, ultimately $22 and, and $18, which still is a massive drop from where we were, uh, to be honest. And I think Solana is, is, is getting like, uh, like really undervalued right now because of, I mean, those, uh, those bullish fundamentals still happened. All right. You must not forget that those still happened and, uh, and, and still Solana is dropping down massively. Um, which I mean, we, we all know why now, but it's, uh, it's, it's still, does it really matter? Uh, to the project that the price is getting this low not not necessarily right um so that's something to think about i'm not saying that you should buy it but I, I, i'm saying that it's something to think about um, so for solana right now i mean we don't even necessarily need to hold 20 dollars, but we do need to hold 18 dollars. all right so if we zoom into the four hour time frame for example we're still very much dropping and uh, there's a pretty big chance that we'll drop down through uh, 20 dollars but we need to hold $18. If $18 doesn't hold, we're dropping all the way down to $15, which is another big drop. Um, so, and, and then from 15, I mean, we can also drop all the way down to 12 and a half, you know? So um, it seems to me that we're dropping through 20, 20 could also still hold, but then $18, uh, we need to find support there. And we really need to like get all the way up to $22 for me to confirm that that's going to be the support. Just finding support there uh, once is, is not necessarily uh, enough. Uh, and then from there, I mean, if, if the whole drama actually settles down a little bit and we have found support at $18, then we might actually uh, start talking about an uptrend up towards like $25 and $26 again. But it's going to be very slow and it's going to be hard to uh, to get back up again. Uh, so yeah, that's my take on Solana this morning. And uh, if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, take care and bye.